Hello and welcome Warriors of Light. Today we're going to be doing a run through of Court in the Sands. This is the quest that I scripted myself other than the first two bits which was scripted by somebody else. But if you've seen my last few videos you're going to see just how much progress I made on this quest. And I'm going to break this run through into two videos. Let's get started. So first thing I want to point out is now all the NPCs here are implemented and you can talk to every single one of them. And then we got Thankrid over here. No doubt the beast would have ushered onto the blood sands of the Colosseum with the greatest fanfare. A true shame it had to be put down. I confess my decision to intervene was not wholly altruistic. Authority can make you quite far in the city. You see, and perhaps those I have saved will fit to return the favor someday. All right, let's begin the quest. And I'll probably start the first part right after we leave the first two guilds. Because this is actually a pretty short quest. We were having us a little chat, were we not? Hmm. I don't suppose I would be surprised with a famous courtesy of you adventurers. There's only one thing you really mean to know, how to fatten them pockets and get your just desserts. Ain't that the way of it? Well, in that case, first thing I'd recommend is getting good at something. Whatever it is you got a passion for, don't make no matter if it's one thing or many. Get good enough and it won't be long before the gills come calling. Also, mayhap you notice, these part ain't exactly what you'd call bountiful. One can turn a pretty profit in dealing with items brought in from outside of our borders. Seems you got yourself a rare little flower there. Come now, let us have a look. Oh, a Velodna Cosmos, and a fine one at that. It's not often you see them in this color. You got yourself an eye for finding baubles like that? May have you have the makings of a true adventurer. I, I think I'll help you where I can. But first, you best run along and attune yourself to the ether right at the Camp Blackbrush. I'll be glad you did. Head out to the gate and all and keep going north. Oh, and don't go try and save the world. Right from the start, you hear. Just keep going till you come to the camp. Here, I'll even mark it on your map of yours. I just pray you know how to use the thing. Once there, you need to do more than touch the ether right at the camp center. Ah, and I'd best not forget to give you this. It's called a Link Pearl. You can use it to contact me if you ever need a bit of advice. Just don't go bother me every time you stub your bloody toe. Of course, I do enjoy hearing the Lady Muse on the many manhoods of her acquaintance from time to time. See the link pearl from Mamodi, link pearl the convenient way to communicate with others all across or Eorzea, wherever they may be. The link pearl icon will appear in the micro menu, yada yada yada. You already know about that. So the link pearl system I is something that I scripted in. Pretty much all that was originally scripted was you'd come here. And then you would tune to the etherite, and then pretty much there, there was just nothing scripted after that. We got a huge block of text here. She just says, already worked out how to use that link pearl, have you? Maybe you ain't as dense as you look. Be a brave lass now, make your way to Camp Blackbrush. Head north out of the Adventurers Guild and make, and take to the west road by the gate of Nald. Watch yourself out there, you hear? I'll contact you again later.
And there's something I'm just gonna walk out here just to show. I'm not sure exactly if this character actually has a quest icon over here. Um, it's kind of weird. When I was implementing the NPCs, it said that this character was part of the quest. So he basically, I don't know if his dialogue here is like canon to the actual retail version. So I just have to do some more investigation about that. But he basically just said, I can't for the life of me work out why everybody's still talking about that damn parade. So now we have to go to Camp Blackbrush, and if we open up our journal here, I'll tell you like where you have to go and stuff like that. And then all the map markers, all the map markers are implemented, so you won't have any trouble of where you'll need to go. Now we can't actually like the other uh, setups. There is no like seamless transition zones yet. So if I walked out to Ulda into Thonalyn, I'll still technically be in the Ulda zone. So we'll pretty much we'll just have to teleport into Camp Blackbrush, just like what we did in Linsa and the Gridania quest. I'm just going to just teleport straight there. And uh, if you're ever playing this quest, just ignore this error here. This is actually just part of the Thonalyn zone. So this error is not related to the quest at all. So if we walk up to the etherite, and this was probably like the like the proudest moment for me because I spent so long trying to figure out uh, how to get this to show up. And it's just the simple message of it saying that you've arrived in Cat Black Brush. It was actually supposed to be a box that popped up. I haven't figured out the widget system and stuff like that yet. Because this uh, link pearl mess is actually called in from another script. And that was the thing that took me forever to find out. Oops. Uh, let's see what she said. Momoti says, It's Momoti, Sliver Dirt, from the quicksand here in Olda. Whisper of mine tells me that you sp spotted you touching the etherite at the camp. Hope you don't mind keeping an eye on you. I saw fit to smuggle something into your bag. Go on, have a look. Got it? Ah, well, that's called a guild leave. Eat the rights across the yards is like the one you touch, and sometimes the camps around them are the key to unlocking guild leaves. This one you got there is perfect and a pleasant an adventurer like yourself. Of course, you're under no obligation of any sort. You're free as the winds, just the way you adventurers like it. Take care now and come back to the quicksand whenever you fancy. Well, since we can't actually do any guild leaves, we're just going to head straight back to the quicksand. And a nice thing about Ulda is we don't actually have to teleport into the uh, Adventurer's Guild. So there's still somewhat some seamless stuff in old uh maybe like a couple things but for the most part this quest doesn't require any player input to get from one area to the other other than the like teleporting menu here Protégé's daughter returns. So how went the treasure hunting? 
happen upon any more precious little flowers? Well, I suppose not every outing can end in a shower of gill. Still, fair say you look at a mite more rugged than you were last year. I, uh, I gotten, uh, I've gone and forgotten what I was going to bloody say. What were we just talking about? Come on, speak to me again. I right now. Speak to me again so I can remember. Click on that dialogue box. Ah uh, yes, I remember. Don't expect to find a flower like that every time you go to Trashman or about. Most folk, a treasure such as that is a once in a lifetime find. Hell, if it were easy, every mummer and old dog would be at it, and nothing would be worth a bloody fart. Come, how about I school you on some of the guilds in town? You can find the goldsmiths over at the lapidaries. Old Da demands for flowers is always high, so they're like to part with a pretty gill for that Blodina Cosmos you got. Then there's the gladiators that are at the Colosseum. Lots of gill to be had there, no mistaken. So long as you got the skills to win on the blood sands. But no doubt lose your way in the alleys, so I'll mark both your places on the map. And I'll no doubt regret it later, but take this. It's a path to gain entry to the games at the Coliseum. Now get out of here and make some bloody gill. Slurp. Use the link pearl I gave you if you need anything. We attain our Coliseum pass. And, uh... I should have mentioned the the only two things that are not working that are major to this quest is the Colosseum fight and the escort mission with Flamin. And partly due because I haven't really spent a whole lot of time investigating on how that stuff works yet. So I basically just wanted to get the main structure of the quest set up to the point where those are kind of like the last two things I need to do. So if we talk to her again, she'll get really angry at us for bothering her. It's like, gods, very well. Let's try this again. I'll talk nice and slow this time. How's that? You can find the goldsmith over at the lapidaries, and they'll likely pay good gill for that there load enough cosmos on account of demand for such fancies here in Old Dog. So with me, then I'll continue. Glad of yours can be found over at the Coliseum. There's a killing to be made there, if you'll pardon the expression. Providing you got the skills that went on the blood sense. You do recall me giving you a pass to get in there, right? Well, I did. I get out of here and make some bloody gills, Lord of Dirt. Here's the Link Pearl I gave you if you need anything. So we actually have a new Link Pearl message. I think she pretty much just tells us the same thing. Just go to the Goldsmith's Guild, go to the... Gladiators Guild. And the great thing about the Gladiators Guild and Goldsmiths Guild is you're not specific. Like I scripted it to where you can go to either or in any order. So I can go, I could choose to go to the Goldsmiths first, then the Gladiators Guild, or I could go to the Gladiators Guild and then the Goldsmiths Guild, and those both have the same outcome at the end. This handy dandy person will actually get us into the other zone. So I don't have to type in any coordinates. Let's see, let's start with the Gladiator's Guild first. Because in my first video of Court in the Sands, I've actually went to the Goldsmiths. Oh, and I have a quest icon. Oh wait, no, actually that's a that's a quest icon for, because I'm level 11 because I've actually started to work on the next quest after this. So some of the quest icons I might get a little confused by. First time in the blood signs, eh? Hi, you must be new to old Da. Still got some green behind your ears. Next event's a beast match. They round up whatever nasties they can find across the yards and chuck them into the arena to maul us. 
You see the monsters get marks about the parade. Aye, that's got thermal tug. They got thermal tuggers who keep them tame like that. And the Coliseum, though, all bets are off. That's when they get really pissed off. What's that? You saw a BC at the parade break loose, but how could. Participants are being selected for the next match, and so this one wants in, does she? Well met. Call me Grandfather. Master Grandfather, the warrior among warriors. You fought in the finals of the last game. Pay your respects. Ah, never mind all that. I had the pitch beaten out of me at any rate. Don't remind me. I got a favor to ask you. Coliseum's hoping a champion is turning, and one of the fighters in the first round lost his nerve. The Craven. I was wondering if you might take to the blood sands in his place. This weakling, but she wouldn't last five mi Ah, yes, yes, of course. The first round, indeed. Coliseum rules hold it. You can't be well known fighter not in the opening round. That character literally just has like a butter knife. And then Yes, we got all the NPCs. This will no doubt increase Grandfather's popularity among the masses, adding pupils of his. Certainly, you'll have a bright future. I would say probably. The most uh, part of the script or the quest that I had to script the most was between the Gladiators Guild and the Goldsmiths Guild. Like, that took the longest for me to script. Can't believe the turning of the beast in Tampa. You have no idea. Been studying the weakness of every bloody beast in the Ram the Raimdale Codex for over a year. So this is basically just set up to where it'll just skip directly to the next cutscene. Ah, there you are, a splendid match. I expected no less. Don't let losing get to you. Continue to fight here and you'll be winning tourneys in no time. You'll find that we gliders have the greatest advantage here and are the most popular with the people as well. If you want to become one of us, I suggest you work here at the Coliseum Among Us. Think on it. An open invite to train at the Coliseum from none other than the Master Grandfather himself. The fates are smiling on you, friend. Did you hear? It was Master Grandfather who felled the beast that broke loose during the parade. Bravery saved the lives of countless townsfolk. You were there? Well, then you must have witnessed his bravery firsthand. Inspiring, isn't it? The gladiator's prowess. If that is the path you wish to set, up, set out upon, you need only sign up. I wonder how many of these people are still in 2.0. Seems I managed to piss a few people off by killing all the beasts they rounded up for the tourney. 
Without a main attraction, they didn't attract the numbers they were after. Even went so far as to fix a couple of messages to try and please the crowd. I'd imagine you would be reprimanded at some point, seeing as how they realized one of the people's favorites would not always be at their back and call. They are threatening with exile. The ingrate, the hell has take them. Though I suppose a chance to see the world may not be altogether a bad thing. I reckon it's easier to see what a mummer spark Olda has become when looking at it from outside. I agree with you there. Perspective can make all the difference. I fear Olda is the most dire need of reformation. No matter, I can love only as I know how. Farewell for now, until the gathering. Gathering? I just where might said congregation occurred, I wonder. So apparently there's now going to be some type of gathering somewhere. Some congregation. Alright, so now you actually pull up your journal. It'll tell you each area to go to. Now we need to go talk to Elakata or Elakate Ella in Bosnia. to sell an item. Very well. May I please see the merchandise? Oh my, this flower is... So you come to sell that, have you? You're not selling weed, are you? Master Neil Frenze, you've returned. Welcome, my lady, to uh, Lapendaries. I am Neil Fresne, Master Goldsmith and Proprietor of the Establishment. If you would permit me, I would be happy to appraise your merchandise. The Eshdames Lapendaries? Let's call it that. You are an adventurer, are you not? And this is the first time you have visited this establishment. I'm not mistaken, in which case, the appraisal shall be free of charge. Hmm, most intriguing. Why has this blossom not begun to wilt? As much as it pains me to say, I'm afraid that this clerk who oversees such exchanges is out at the moment. Flowers so dank, yo. But the thought of having made to come all this way for nothing disconcerts me even more. Allow me to present you with this, as a token of my appreciation, the sum of 2,000 gil. The absence of naturally occurring flowers in the area certainly made them valuable at one time. They simply are not as rare since Olda began to trade with Gridania. All trade will prove to be for naught, however, should it come to war with Golomold. I think I just did a drug deal here. Bam, your merchandise. Have, have you brought it with you? You've already sold it, you see. The price of flowers continues to rise as the conflicts with the chief scribes become more and more frequent. The people of Odal, the people of Odal have instead begun to settle for floor prints and patterns. The goldsmiths who have worked under the Estame name have ever strived to create unique goods and 
cater to the distinguished taste of our diverse clientele. That is a hard word to say. Thank God I only had to see it a couple times in this class. Okay, so got to talk to her again. Our commitment to produce the finest and fineries has even attracted the patronage of our royal family. For several generations, our workshop has been commissioned to craft the jewels worn by the sultans and the sultanas themselves. Our peerless craftsmen were also responsible for forging the now legendary blade Heartstrike. We should certainly not like to see its rival on the hands of the barbarians on the bloodstand. So here it's just telling us that more about NPC link pearls and stuff like that. We got 2,000 gil, which we actually did not receive 2,000 gil. It's, it's actually just the system telling us. We just go into inventory. We're still, we're still a broke adventurer. So it that uh. This message here is basically just telling you just to open up the Link Pearl menu. I saw you were able to get for the flower. I thought it more valuable than that. Okay, it's made to say it, but I reckon you've been rooked there, Slurp. But I heard you tried your hand at the Colosseum. All they had left were the Tri-Fly Monsters. But even if you should have been able to win a fight, right? What's that? The Tournament of the Beast was cancelled? Well, that's bloody odd. Ah uh, yes, I almost forgot. I heard that the Amal... Yamajina and Sun's mineral concern. Has been recruiting, mining, tickle your fancy at all? Every now and then we get freeloaders who try to sneak into the Yamajina own mines and make off with the hall. It's mostly poor folk who can't afford to live in the city. It's a pity, but laws are laws. And that is where we're going to end the first part of this quest. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, there's been a ton of progress made on the quest but in the next video we're gonna once we get into the miners guild we're gonna do like the emotes and stuff and a lot of that has made progress so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video